Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to take a look at an introduction to linear regression. Linear regression is a way of quantifying the relationship between two related variables that have a generally linear relationship. So when we talk about linear regression, we're talking about taking two variables that we think might be related and looking at, is there a way that we can approximate their relationship? We can quantify their relationship. Now, we can have two main types of linear relationships when it comes to two related variables. Here in the first, we have an example of a positive linear relationship. So that means as our x variable increases, our y variable also increases. So as one variable goes up, so does the other. Our other type of linear relationship we can have is the opposite. We can have a negative linear relationship. So as one variable goes up, the other variable goes down. We can also have other types of relationships that are non-linear. So for example, here in this third picture, we can see that there's definitely a relationship between what's going on between one variable and another. It's just not linear. And we are going to focus our attention right now on linear relationships. There are other types of regression for other types of relationships, and we'll look at those a little bit later. For now, we're looking for linear relationships. So one thing that we can do uh, with a linear relationship and with linear regression is we can calculate what's called a regression line or sometimes called a line of best fit. So that is a linear equation that runs through the data points. It is calculated by technology so that it fits the data as best as possible, and that is done by trying to minimize what is called a residual. So a residual is the difference between the point on the line for a given x value and the data value for that x value. So this distance right here is called a residual. And when your calculator comes up with this line of best fit, it is doing some complex calculations to make a line so that the residuals overall are at a minimum. So that's why we call it the line of best fit. It fits the data best, it minimizes those residuals. So looking at your regression line and what you kind of might see, of course we, we have a scatter plot here which we've looked at before. Notice here, it's going to be important which variable is along our x-axis and which variable is along our y-axis. So along our x-axis, we want to have our independent variable, or our variable that is driving the other variable. We also sometimes call that our explanatory variable. Okay, so independent or explanatory variable. Which variable is being changed so that the other one will change. Along our y-axis, we're going to have our dependent variable, or our variable that is dependent or depends on the change in our independent or explanatory variable. We've got all of our data points graphed, and then the line running through is our line of regression. So in our next several videos, we're going to look at how do we calculate this linear regression? What are some things about it that we can analyze? And how can we use it to make predictions about future data values? Until then, we'll catch you in the next video.